you will be assessed before your operation to find the safest and most appropriate anaesthetic technique for your procedure. Your anaesthetist will discuss this fully with you. Are you happy we've, we've yes. explained all the, all the... Well, your anaesthetist come and see you beforehand on the day of surgery for a thorough pre-operative assessment. And once you've taken into account your medical conditions, the drugs that you're taking, and any previous experiences or personal preferences, then there will be a discussion or dialogue between you and the anaesthetist, and he will recommend the best technique for you. The vast majority of patients who have this procedure will have a general anaesthetic. Uh, that's probably 98-99% of patients. There are a very few patients where that's clinically not recommended and that will be specifically tailored to that patient. But in the vast majority of cases, it's a short general anaesthetic. The advantage is nowadays that the risks are low, you wake up reasonably pain-free and that your leg is your leg and you can get up and get walking on it straight away. A general anaesthetic is where you're put to sleep totally for your operation and from the moment you leave the anaesthetic room you're not aware of any other part of the procedure until you wake up comfortably in our recovery room. In a nervous patient you can guarantee you won't know anything about it with a general anaesthetic so that's a big advantage. Also some patients who've got fragile hearts, it does, it does protect the heart during the operation if they have a general anaesthetic they won't, they won't be prone to get a very fast heart rate. Uh, and you can control the oxygen input to the patient. Uh, so you make things very stable during the operation with a general anaesthetic. And the main disadvantage to a general anaesthetic is a feeling of sickness or nausea after your operation, which occurs in about 20% of patients. We do give anti-sickness medicine to try to prevent this, um, and in the vast majority of patients this works very effectively. It's best to let the anaesthetist worry about the side effects of the particular techniques in, return, in relation to the safety to the patient. Um, there's nothing to worry about specifically with either technique. Obviously every single procedure has a risk to it, as crossing the road has a risk to it, but the vast majority of anaesthetics these days are extremely safe and through thorough pre-assessment and optimising you, in other words making that you're as fit as possible at the time of surgery and discussion with your anaesthetist beforehand means that most patients have a completely seamless journey through their anaesthetic and operation. For more information on anaesthesia for all types of knee surgery, take a look at the documentation in the resources section of the website.